Today we're going to install the Impress One filter. This filter has an in and out port on the bottom. As you can see, it's teed through. The, the actual conveyance of the water is, is channeled through this fitting. It's a specialized fitting. It's an inch and a quarter female PVC fitting, socket weld, so inch and a quarter plumbing will glue right into it. You'll notice on this particular fitting, you can't see it, but it says tank and riser. What this means is where the water is going to come in or where the water is going to go out. For most applications, we're going to go into the tank side and out the riser side. That allows the water to filter from the outside of the filter to the inner port and then out into your home. This filter will have O-rings on the bottom and a little standpipe. If you look in the bottom of the tank, you can see the little riser coupler. And when you put this filter in, this O-ring sleeve is going to slide down in there to seal the filter. So you'll take your filter, put it down in there, make sure it orients in the sleeve, push it all the way down in. Once the filter is in place, we'll take the cap, and you can see the cap has an O-ring on it that seals the cap. You may want to use some food grade silicone grease, something to lubricate it, nothing petroleum based. Food grade silicone grease, if you don't have that you can use corn oil, but we prefer silicone grease. Once that's in place, you work this down in, push it all the way down in there, and then it has a snap ring that retains it. You put the snap ring in as follows. Push it in all the way around the filter. It snaps in to where the finished product looks something like that. You pull it, pull it right out. Now obviously this is coming out in, in and out pretty easily because we don't have any pressure on this filter. First time to change your filter you're going to want to relieve the pressure. You're going to shut the water off going into it and then this little button on the top will actually relieve the pressure. <clears throat> this button can also bleed the air out when you put your new, line, your new filter on and you put it back on line. You can push this button in, bleed the air out of it till you get water, then you know you're full to the top with water and you're using the entire filter for filtration. When you install this, you're going to install it with shutoff valves and a bypass. This allows you to bypass the filter if you need continuous flow while you're changing the filter or servicing it. Typically what we would do is we would plumb into a T and then out of the T into a shutoff valve for the inlet and then a shutoff valve for the outlet and then a T. And then coming out of both T's will come together with a loop with another valve in the middle. What you can do is when you turn this, this filter off, you'll shut off your two T's down here, open up your bypass T, that'll allow water to flow through, then you can release your pressure and change your filter. Just bring it online in the reverse order. Also, it's a good idea to put pressure gauges before and after this filter. That'll give you an idea of when it's becoming clogged, when it's time to change it. Usually we like to work with a pressure differential of around 15 PSI. Um, typically around 12 PSI, it's, it's pretty close time to, to change it. So what you'll do is you'll take an in, incoming reading, let's say you're at 40, and your outgoing reading is at 38. And obviously we don't have enough differential pressure there to change it. Now once that differential pressure reaches right around 12 PSI, then that's when you'll change the filter. Again, this is the big honking filter. Easy to install. Lots more surface area than any other typical filter. And we'll install most applications fairly easily.